Okay, the next testimony is entitled, You Have Chili for All. <laughs> Stay tuned. So when I was in college working on my sociology degree, I, um, I used to cook big portions of meals, um, like big pots of, of beef stew and big pots of chili and big pots of spaghetti. And that was because they were to last us for two or three days. Um, at the time that I was working on my degree, I was getting a link card. And in Illinois, a link card is like a food card. And so I was getting that. And God was working on me on how to trust him, you know, for food and everything. So <laughs> it's funny. So anyway... I was making um, a big pot of chili, and all the kids just so happened to be at my house at that time, so I was making a big pot of chili, and so my son, one of my sons, I believe it was my middle son, he came in the kitchen, and he was like, man, I'm hungry, I want to eat, and I was like, get your butt out of here, because he know I told them that when they have company over, don't come in the kitchen asking for no dinner or anything to eat because I don't have enough to go around. Because in my mind, my thinking was when I make this big pot, it's to last my family for three days so that I, I don't know. That's just that was my thinking It's to last my family for three days. And so <laughs> when I sent sent my son out of the kitchen, get your butt back in there. Uh, I'm standing at the stove and I'm stirring this big old pot of chili, right? <laughs> and so the Christ come to me and the Spirit says, that sure is a lot of chili. And I was all proud and stuff and answer, yep, isn't it? Because, you know, I'm proud. I got this, I'm cooking this for my kids and my family and I'm, I'm proud. Like, yeah, and I got to stir and say, yep, I sure do. <laughs> and God said, the Lord. He says, you have enough chili to feed every kid that's in that house now. Go ahead on and feed everybody now and let me worry about what, what you're going to fix tomorrow. And so I just was like, again, this is like a relief type deal because this is always the way that I've done things. I wasn't trying to be selfish, but it was a, it was a selfish move not to take not to let my kids eat so that the other kids wouldn't see them eating and asking for it. That was bondage. And so God got me out of that mentality. He was like, "Give while you have it, and I'll take care of tomorrow." It's like you know, do that. So yeah, and I did it. And after he told me that, <laughs> I was like, it was almost like clinging the bell. Come and get it. I was like, all of y'all come on and eat. And they all came and got bowls and they ate. And it was, it was such, it was such a good time to not feel restricted or to feel that I was limited to be able to do something to give something like a bowl of chili to my my neighbor's kids so yeah that was a good thing 